So I went on vacation and uh, I came back and my dad had come out and started tearing down the pump house. I was gonna make a big old long video about this, but I don't have to worry about it because it's halfway done. Um, so the rest of this video will be about how we're going to uh, tear down the rest of this pump house and move that electrical panel there back to that wall once we tear down the rest of the wall. see my dad's working on uh, getting all the wires out of this panel we're gonna get all that out of the way we'll take down these last couple 2x4s and this piece of plywood we've already disconnected the main line after we turned off the main breaker and this panel will then get put between these two 2x6s two once all this other stuff is out of the way and then we reconnect the well head and one plug in and this will be back in business and that way I'll be able to put this last sheet of plywood up and call for the uh, shear wall inspection. Oh, this thing should come right out. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So this is the controller box for my packing switch. And while we have this all taken, my dad's over there banging around. While we have this all taken apart, we're gonna replace this uh, pressure switch. Um, as I showed you earlier, there's some water on the ground. There's something wrong with this thing. So we're gonna replace this, which means we gotta undo these wires. And now that the panel's gone, we can undo this. Okay, so as you can see, the temporary shed is gone, electrical panel is disconnected, and we have two cables and a can of glue, but the cables are sticking up out of that conduit. The conduit goes through the foundation wall, and on the outside, okay, so there's my wellhead, and over here, we haven't been able to put that last piece of plywood on because we had to deal with this power panel and what we've done is put conduit inside the concrete under the foundation to have the power the green and black and white wire comes from my temp my permanent remote meter on the other side of the garage and goes into the garage into the new garage here and then the other wire is for the pump 
and the well. Um, I'm doing this so I don't have any boxes or conduits or anything attached to the outside of the garage. So this hole will get covered back up with dirt and this piece of plywood will go on the wall and these two conduits here will be the cable that come out of the garage. Okay, what we're going to do is install the new, excuse me, the old power panel into its new location. And that new location is right here. And my dad's going to come over and grab these screws at the bottom of this thing and temporarily attach it. This stuff's OxyGuard, you buy it at any big box store. It's required by code to go on all the uh, connections, the main line connections, all these big ones that I'm installing right now. So I'm gonna trim these back with a razor blade because I don't have a wire stripper that big. And then uh, you saw how I routed these two around the top and they'll come down. So this is the power supply goes here and then the ground comes to the ground bar. The other side is the neutral and the other power supply and those go around the top. That just gives me extra cord in here and I'll keep it nice and tidy out of the way. the pump controller box. This is the line that comes from the pump head, well head, comes up and goes into this, comes out of here. We'll go to the pressure switch, which my dad installed the new one. I'm getting ready to install the pigtail that comes from the pressure switch here into the panel, which I'm getting ready to do right now. Yeah, the camera's on, kiddo. Oh, I do. It's not embarrassing. I don't do this stuff enough to remember exactly how to do it every time I do it, so that's why. Okay, well. Okay, I'm gonna go turn on, open the water up. I should come back on at like 27 PSI. Okay. So this is all put back together now. We just, uh, we tested this. We made sure that the pressure kicks on and off correctly with the pressure switch. I put the cover back on. These leads are all done. I'll put a couple clamps on here in a minute. And it just kicked off. I just, just heard it, just disengaged at 50 PSI, which is perfect. Everything's good to go. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people don't know is this is called a standpipe. And this little piece of pipe is 12 inches long. All electrical connections are required to be 12 inches off the ground. So if I were to mount this right here, I wouldn't be above 12. So I just bought a 12 inch one, which is taller than I needed. But that, that's why this little goofy pipe is so long. So this is the last sheet of plywood we have to put up. goes up right over the hole. Yep. You ready? Oh, no, but we might as well try it anyway. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. You go figure out what, what it is. Bring the ladder over here. And... Look at that. Looks like a tip. You good? Yep. Okay, here, I'll just stay on the ladder. Put a nail Got it?